So there's your other fuel filter. Uh, let's see. There it is. It's up under here. And here's your... And that's the one I didn't... It's a little plastic one. This is the pump. I forgot the metal. The metal casing is the pump. And the uh, other plastic one is right under here. It comes from the fuel tank. And this is your hydrostat transmission fluid. Um, hydraulic fluid. And it's a pain to get to because my this plate right here is bent on mine. And so the wrench won't go up in there. So I'm going to have to bend that plate back. But the wrench won't go up in there. Not very easy anyway. And filming this is going to suck too. Maybe I can get it. I, of course, got it on backwards, but that's okay, too. Shouldn't be on there that tight. Oh, and I got the wrong size. No, come on. I don't know about filming this. Right there. Maybe you can still see it on the top of the picture, maybe. Can't get it on there. And I got no room, of course, because that's tightening. So I'll try this way. Just as a, my plate's bent, so it's a really tight fit. And the small uh, wrench is just all you can do. Yeah, I may have to get the bigger wrench. Yeah. I may have to get the bigger wrench. Or just fight with the small wrench. That's what we did. <laughs> she was on there a little tight. Now, since I've screwed this out, can't get the wrench off. And now we get some transmission fluid on the floor. I always say transmission fluid, it's not transmission fluid, it's hydraulic fluid. Oh, we're gonna get a lot on the floor now. It's got a, a new filter. Oh shit. We got a plastic piece on there. But the, I don't know if you can see it, the, the O-ring is uh, cupped a little bit. When you get it nap, it will be flat and you it will leak as soon as you put hydraulic pressure on it. At least as soon as you put a bunch of hydraulic pressure on it. Clean that off real nice with your dirty fingers. And put it back on. Nice clean oil filter. And I gotta wipe off my hands. I definitely gotta wipe off my hands. I don't know what you saw in that last video, but see if I can't get it all in there. It's just like on a box or something. There? Yeah. 
you can see it maybe in the top of your screen. So now I'll put this wrench on the wrong way again. Um, let's try this way. And I didn't go get a bigger wrench yet. Probably won't. Hopefully won't. But you really need just one size bigger wrench. I didn't really have it hand tight because it was so... But there you go. Add some hydraulic fluid and we're done. You do have to drop your uh, Under Armour. If you don't have that on your BX25, you need to get it. BX25 has an Under Armour. Um, that's what it's called, Under Armour. It's from BX6. Text that little band right in there. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it or not. Anyway, there's a fan right back in there. On your, uh, if you can see it. On your uh, hydrostat. And uh, that little fan, uh, a stick goes right up in there. Oops. A stick goes right up in there, underneath here, through that guard, that little bitty guard right there, and hits your fan, and um, busts up that fan, and then you're in a world of shit. Now we got to put some hydraulic fluid in it. And hydraulic fluid is right here, dark, but it's right there. And you just have to add it with the dipstick. This right here will come out. And you'll need some fluid. So now you get your big oversized funnel. And you gotta watch which hydraulic fluid you put in there too. Um, this is AMS oil. ATH by W30. It's, it's the uh, AMS oil version of what Kubota recommends in there. There's so many hydraulic fluids you can get um, the cheap ones. Probably can't see me pouring that in there, can you? Not that you need to see it, but I need to get a better angle anyway. But anyway, don't get the cheap stuff. Don't put the cheap stuff in your, in your damn $20,000 tractor. Doesn't make any sense. Get the right hydraulic fluid for your tractor. That should be enough, probably. Well, so anyway, I'll start it up. See where we're at. So we started it up. I get the bucket all the way up. Raise the low, raise and lower the back hydraulics, and I need just a little bit more. All you need is what you took out. What that filter was holding on me, leaked out. I'll start it up again and make sure. And I'm not pushing it all the way down, I'm just, and we're still just barely on there, ain't we? Still need a little bit more. Finish off that five gallon bucket. Right there. Oh, yeah, that's full, 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 full. 
Yep, that boy. Alright, and that's it for the hydraulic fluid too. So did we learn anything? Hydraulic fluid? Change the hydraulic filter. Um you're gonna get you one of those under armors from BX expanded if you haven't got one. Change the oil, change the oil filter, change the air filter. Uh, change the fuel filter, the front one, we didn't change the underneath one, but we know where it is. And now we're going to grease the front end. I don't know if it's going to be, that be one long video or five short ones. Probably five short ones, so I'll stop it here and we'll grease the front end of the, grease the loader today too.